water is such an important part of our lives, and water of the sacrament of baptism is such an important part. And what we're going to do in our blessing is we are going to recall the sacraments of the church. There's so much a part of what takes place here. And so we bless this water. May this water which sanctifies our lives, this water which reminds us of our own baptism, be used now to bless the elements that are here in this space. And may the Spirit of God come upon the water and then upon all the things that we now bless. One of the things that makes Catholic Christianity so different from most other denominations is that we are a sacramental church. Seven liturgical rites instituted by Jesus that give grace. Chapels and churches are spaces where these sacramental rites come alive and the Holy Spirit fills these places and those gathered with the presence of God, which we call grace. Nine years ago, the parishioners of St. Rose of Lima said goodbye to our little parish church, which for 90 years had nourished the people of Overbrook and Carroll Park. We were sad. For over the years, so many wonderful revelations of God's goodness had taken place here. This little space had been transformed so many times as the life of the church traveled through the 20th century. There were names on the 22 windows so generously donated by folks who had lived through the Great Depression and the horrors of a world war. Each pew was a remembrance of a family that lived in a simple row house in this neighborhood. More recently, African American Catholics had contributed hard-earned money to place a new altar, ambo, an altar of repose, in this place to let folks know that they had been here. These were not purchased from a church furniture catalog, but were the creation of the world-renowned Japanese-American woodworker, George Nakashima. Two of those pieces are with us at our new home in St. Barbara Church, but the altar of repose here is from Mr. Nakashima. When we left here, one of our young parishioners danced to make this our space. Water is one of the primal matters, and in our sacramental life, the source of God's grace as we enter into the waters of baptism and which allows us to make holy so many other items in our spiritual lives. And thus, we bless this water. The holy oils blessed each year by the bishop are used in the sacraments of baptism, confirmation, holy orders, and the anointing of the sick. We bless the ambry in which these holy orders are preserved. The Eucharist is central in our lives. Jesus made present on the altar, the altar where the community of believers gathers and from which they are nourished. This altar from the convent of the sisters, servants of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, who served here for 96 years, has been blessed so many times by the very presence of Jesus. Nonetheless, we bless it again. In the sacrament of baptism, a candle lighted from the Easter candle is presented to the newly baptized Catholic Christian with the instruction to keep this light burning brightly. Light is so important in our lives and windows allow God's light to enter our lives and this space. And thus we bless these two windows from the 1953 renovation of the Church of St. Louis of Lima one to the Blessed Mother, and the other to our patron saint, Rose of Lima, the first saint of the Americas.
While born into grace, sin is all around us, and we, from time to time, fall. But Jesus has promised that God is a forgiving God, and thus we come in the sacrament of penance to seek God's forgiveness in this reconciliation chapel. St. Augustine told us that when we sing, we pray twice. Today, our student ensemble and Mr. Esau Jones are helping us to pray twice. This beautiful piano from the Church of St. Rose of Lima and dedicated to the memory of Mrs. Sarah Young, our longtime minister of music, will once again help us to worship our loving God, not once, but twice, and thus we bless it. Unless the custom of the church changes, we will never celebrate the sacrament of matrimony in this chapel. But what could be more fitting than to bless you, Mrs. Donnelly, and to thank God for the years of joy that you and Jack shared in this wonderful sacrament. Finally, just as the altar of the Old Testament erected in the great temple of Jerusalem was where heaven and earth met, thus, as the psalmist would sing, may our prayer rise like incense before our ever-loving God. I don't think we lit the charcoal, but we will. <laughs> okay.